Okay, and then lastly, the final thing that we wanted to talk about on this synth, just as an introduction, is the LFO, or Low Frequency Oscillator. So the, the important terminology to realize with this one, so when they say low frequency oscillator, they don't mean oscillator in the same way as um, uh, the oscillators in terms of sound generators. So uh, when they, and also when it says low frequency, it also doesn't mean low frequency as in pitch. So it doesn't mean it like a bass sound. It means low frequency as in a low rate. So it doesn't happen very often. Uh, so. Uh, low frequency uh, oscillators are basically ways that we can automate some of the things that we've been doing on the synthesizer. So the most common one, to, uh, the most well, the easiest one to show is uh, to use it with a pitch control on here. So if I put the rate up to about halfway on here, and as I increase the pitch, so now it is alter, it is uh, oscillating the pitch up and down uh, at the rate that I've chosen. So if I have the pitch all the way up, it's obviously doing it uh, quite a lot. If I have it down at the bottom there, it's just doing it just a little bit, like a vibrato. And the rate control chooses how fast it's doing it. So if I have that uh, uh, all the way up, It's obviously doing it very fast and very slowly on the other end. Um, then on the top corner here, we have different types of wave shape that will do that. So, um, so much in the same way that we have different types of waves that we can use in the oscillators, we also have uh, different shapes that we can uh, use to control uh, how the LFO works. So for instance, at the moment it's doing it in a saw wave, so it's just up and down nice and smooth. <laughs> Uh, we have a triangle wave, so it'll do it a bit more rigid. So the triangle one's not quite as smooth. Uh, then we have a saw wave one, where it'll start from uh, a low point and just go up and go down. Likewise, if you went all the way to the minus, it would do it in the other direction. Uh, then we have a square wave where it'll go from fixed values. Oscillate between different fixed values. Then we have uh, one from this wave shape here, which is uh, known as sample and hold, which is basically it, it, it kind of it, it seems like it's done randomly, but it, it picks different values and it'll hold it for an amount of time uh, and then move on to another one. Could be quite good for sort of randomized sounds. Uh, and then lastly, it has a random function. So the difference, I suppose, between sample and hold and random is a sample and hold, uh, if, I don't know if you can see the, uh, the little dial on there, um, it takes more fixed value, so I guess it's more, more like a square wave. jumps between the different values, whereas the random control jumps over a little bit more. So uh, as well as the rate control, the other one that goes in hand in hand with it is the uh, fade time. So uh, if I have my, on my pitch on there, obviously it begins straight away. If I add some fade time, the more fade time I add in, the more uh, the sound waits before it starts bringing in the LFO. So this is quite good if you're using them for lead sounds and you want to get a vibrato effect, but you don't want it to uh, start immediately. So because I have some fade time on it, it allows me to play some full notes before it goes into uh, the oscillation, which is quite cool. So as well as having um, the 
oscillator affecting things like the the pitch we can also have it uh, oscillating the filter so for instance again if i take my filter down and add a bit of resonance to it instead of me if i wanted to i could spend all day opening the filter with my hands like that but we can also use the lfo to do that for us so so again choosing how much it does for us so that's quite cool and again fade time again different types of uh, shapes and just as allow us to choose uh, different types of uh, uh, sounds uh, again for the amp we can use it so with the amp because amp controls volume so how does this work in that one well same kind of principle it'll give us a uh, volume swells like a tremolo effect so all the way up fades it into out to zero and different kind of wave controls so the LFO is a really powerful way uh, to control the uh, the sounds and make uh, a lot of interesting tones actually which is ace Okay, I hope you've made it this far. We're just going to quickly wrap up with uh, going over a couple of the other basic controls that you probably find on most synthesizers, just so you understand those as well. Um, one of them is to do with uh, mono mode. So this particular synthesizer is uh, what we call a polysynth because you can play more than one note at a time. So you can play chords. However, a lot of synthesizers are mono, which uh, only allows you to play one note at a time, but uh, you can also put them into mono mode. So even though I'm continue to hold down this key, whenever I press another key, that overwrites it. Uh, the other one is unison. So if you put it in unison mode, where it's flashing on this one, it plays all four oscillators at the same time. So you can get a really thick sound because you've got all four oscillators playing. Which is very cool. Okay, I'm also gonna quickly talk about Portamento. Portamento is um, a control that uh, only really works if you've got it in mono. Uh, but what it does is it, it's, it's sort of the amount of time that it takes to glide between notes. So for instance, if I play uh, an octave, it just snaps between the two different notes. However, if I add some Portamento, it glides between them. So if I have uh, all the way up, takes ages and then also goes all the way off um, so if you come across a, a portamento control that's what it does uh, again adding little bits of it are quite nice for lead sounds and things just so it's a bit more fluid a bit more glides between the two of them uh, finally, just because we're here, I'll just talk about the pitch control, uh, pitch envelope, sorry. Not all synths seem to have one of these, but if you do have a system one or if you have a synth that has one on, just so you can understand what it does. Um, so much like the, uh, the envelopes that we were looking at on the filter or the amp, um, the pitch envelope it only has attack and decay. Uh, this controls how the, the pitch um, of the sound changes as you play the key. So again, we'll put it all up so that we can hear it. If I uh, play some attack on it, the uh, the sound jumps up and then uh, goes back down to an initial thing. If I put it all the way up, and all the way back down. Likewise, the decay does the other the other way around. So that's how you can get those big sort of Hoover bass sounds. And again, choosing the uh, the pitch control uh, all the way the other way. Uh, 
the sound will jump down before jumping back up. So they're quite handy as well in making uh, some sounds. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to synthesis and I hope a lot of it's made sense for you uh, and that you can get a bit more out of the synth that you're using now with a bit more confidence. Um, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but all the best. Thank you very much. Bye.